Hello everybody, Swami Nath here. Today we are going to see difference between mood stress suit and inbound delivery. This question was asked in an interview recently and that is the reason I am just uploading this video. What is the difference between a goods receipt and MIGO transaction port and the inbound delivery? What do you mean by inbound, inbound delivery? Where you do inbound delivery in bl 31 year. So what is the major difference? We are going to see that now. Watch this video till the end. And if you want to know how to do goods receipt, check the, uh, check the description. A link has been provided in the description. Check the link for goods receipt. Now I am going to discuss only about inbound delivery. Now... So inbound delivery, we do it in BL31 year transaction code and GR, normal GR goods received with the reference to purchase order, we do it in MIGO transaction code. Now, what is the purpose of inbound delivery? The purpose of inbound delivery is tracking the order, packing, packing and warehouse preparations. We do it in inbound delivery. Now, what document gets created? They may ask you in the interview, what document gets created? Material document gets created upon doing G goods received in BL 32N. Do it in BL 32N. Material document gets created. When you do goods received in BL 32N transaction code, accounting document gets created. Normal inbound delivery, when you save it in BL 31N, BL 31N inbound delivery, then this material document does, will not get created. Inbound document only gets created. Accounting document never gets created. That is the major difference. Okay, now let's, I'll just show you the system itself. Let's go to ME21N. ME21N, I'm going to create a purchase order for inbound delivery. Okay, let me create, a, enter the uh, supplier. Let me enter purchase organization, purchasing group. Let me enter the material here. Let me enter quantity, under quantity. Now go to the right and enter the plant GK10. Storage location GK10. Now go to the confirmation. I'm going to do inbound delivery. If you want to do any inbound delivery, you have to select this confirmation. If you are not selecting this confirmation, inbound delivery will not get created. You will not be able to do inbound delivery. Okay. If you want to do normal goods receipt GRN in MIGO transaction code, then you can you don't need this. You can unselect this, or if you want to inbound delivery, select the confirmation and save it. Let me save this. Save. Let me take a note of this. 45000567 is my purchase order. It's my purchase order. Now let's go to BL31 slash BL31 yen. Transaction for BL31 yen. See here, supplier and purchase order. Okay. Now press enter. Enter. What is C 5567? Press enter. Now, 100 quantity is there. See it. For the shipment, you are going to shipment. Here you can select goods or routes. Okay. Plan, transport planning date. You can select transport. But in MIGO and GRN, you will not be able to do this. This is related to logistics execution. Logistics. Related to logistics. It is not related with Yama material management. It is related with logistics. Okay. Unload, go to unload all these details. Door, door details, warehouse doors. You can select warehouse doors. It, it gets automatically determined when you implement warehouse. Okay, receiving point, staging area in the warehouse. All this can be done in inbound delivery, but you will never be able to do it in GR and in MIGO transaction. Okay, now I'm going to do select this, go to Packing. I'm going to pack this. Enter the packing material. See it? Packing. Select handling units. What do you mean by handling units? Handling units is nothing but packing material and the material inside the pack. That is handling units. HU. Okay. Select this and click onto this pack. This you will not be able to do it in MIGO transaction board. But this is what I'm coming to say. Okay, this you will not be able to do it in MIGO transaction. Now come back and let me save this. Let me save this. Press enter to save it. Now see here, inbound delivery document has been created. But goods receipt has not been done. If you want to do the goods receipt, go to slash and BL32N 
PL 32N and to bootstresser. Click on to this bootstresser and press enter. See, now material document gets created. This is my material document. Let me take this material document. Take this material document. And let me go to take this material document and then let me go to B, B go transaction code slash and MIG go transaction code. Now accounting document gets created. Goods received display document. Enter the accounting document number here. Metro document number here. 2025. 2025. See it now document info. FI document. Now it gets created. This is the major difference between GRN and inbound delivery. And, and the inventory also. Please check the inventory here. Let me check the inventory also. Inventory also gets updated in MM, MMP. Go to slash and MMP. Let's go to MMP and check the inventory. Gets updated. This is the major difference between MIGO, GR and MIGO and Inbound it. Thank you.